Um, no, for real though, welcome to the spot. Dude, <laughs> thanks for having me. Um, this place is awesome. So, uh, hi, Matt Farah. Hi. Hi, autofocus. The smoking tire. Um, what's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Today, we're actually not focusing on cars per se. We're focusing on a garage. We're focusing on cars. Yeah, the man, the myth, the legend. Just many cars. The, uh, which, by the way, thank you so much for having me and Brian Scotto and just awesome guests. Sung Kang, all these recent guests that oh, no. you guys have had on this, on your show. Um, oh wait, can we talk about the outside of the building that there's a big F, F U? If you're gonna build a building, I mean, a giant red F is not, you know, some people don't see it. I like it because you know why? A place like this, you don't wanna have a sign. Like, I don't want a big sign that says, you know, crazy cars inside. I, so if you can say, oh yeah, just look for the giant red F, you can really see it from either direction <laughs> and it's a good landmark and my the podcast studio is right in the middle of the red f so you know it's a little it's a little like whimsy you know in an otherwise very serious building come on inside So we are in Culver City, right? Yeah, Playa Vista, Culver City. This side of the street is Culver City. That side of the street is Playa Vista. Playa Vista sounds baller, or so I say Playa Vista. So this is the lobby. Uh, how, about I, how about I close the bathroom door? The bathroom school. How about I close the bathroom door? Um, so tell us, what is this place? Oh, well, as, as you saw on the floor mat, uh, West Side Collector Car Storage. The lobby's fun, right? Porsche colors, your artwork on the wall. Yeah, That's us, us spending a, a, a good times on uh, El Mirage. Dry with Lake the Russians. Bed. Yeah. But um, that is a, is a um, acoustic panel. Like that's an actual like sound uh, absorbing acoustic panel, but that and that's cool. But come come in here. Yeah, this is the this is the main feature of this building that you built. Yes. For this purpose. Yes. So. Ta-da! West Side Collector Car Storage. Uh, this is the first of its kind in a lot of ways. Obviously, I didn't invent the concept of parking or collector car parking or in any of this stuff, but these massive Park Plus quads, uh, we have 18 of them uh, indoors here. No one has done quite a few things that we've done uh, before. So no one's put these lifts indoors before. No one's put them over a basement before. We have a 40 car underground level. No one has uh, put these beautiful battery tending systems on them, which we came up with uh, in order to get power all the way to the top levels in a very organized and neat manner, which I love. It makes our lives so much easier and it looks cool. Uh, and no one's done fire suppression. We have fire suppression all the way up. So, and no one's done it in the seismic zone. So no one's ever put these in, in SoCal. So uh, that's the thing is, uh, West Side Car Collector is, is basically a place for people to store their cars. If you live in this area and you just don't have enough storage space, or if you just wanna leave a car here in LA, and if you fly in, you get to actually use your car, yeah. right? Those are pretty much our two biggest types of clients. So in this area, LA, West Side, Beach Cities specifically, it's not, we don't even really cover all of LA. We cover like this little portion of LA because because distance doesn't matter here as much as time. You know what I mean? And so it, we cover a 15 minute circle <laughs> around us pretty much, right? And in that circle, there are some really nice homes and really successful people who are really busy people. Uh, they work hard and, and whatever, they have uh, cars. And it's not necessarily about money, 
or, or the, the desire to buy the cars, it's really just about somewhere to keep them because you've got multi-million dollar townhomes here with, without anywhere to put this stuff. So uh, a bunch of our clients just keep their weekend car here. Uh, a bunch of our clients have a sentimental car here that they don't uh, need to keep at their garage with their kids' bicycles and stuff or whatever. They don't want it to get dinged up. And then we've got folks from out of town uh, who keep a car here and we pick them up at the airport when they come to town and, uh, and we get their car ready for them and, and, and keep it nice like, like our friend Jeff here. Yeah, our, our friend Jeff Swart, of course he leaves a beautiful uh, 911T. With an andial, you know, license plate frame. Oh my God. Well, and that's- I took th that to service today. So we can also, you know, we take people's cars to service for them. We can do tires here. We can do detailing as yeah, our, homie, no, I, our homie Robert is doing on the Supra over there. I, uh, you know, show up with a really dirty car <laughs> and um, your guys offered to wash it. And th that's kind of one of the services that you offer. Yeah. You know, you store the car here, yeah. and then if they want to go out, uh, you know, to a fancy restaurant during normal times, of course, or, or now whatever. It's just up to the mountains and, you know. Yeah, if, if they want to use their car, yeah, yeah. they can pick it up and yeah. it's just clean, ready to go. They just get in and yeah. go drive. Yeah. And like, if the, the cars that get driven, like, you know, obviously a bunch of cars do a bunch of sitting. Cause we have certain clients that have four or five cars. So even if they come every weekend to take something out, a car will sit for a while, but you know, then certain cars get driven more than others. So the cars up on the very top are either like non-runners, cause we've got some of those, um, or really, really long-term storage. So if it's the kind of thing that gets driven a lot, it's either on the ground or it's like one level up at the most. And it doesn't even, like, do you want to see, it's like, doesn't take long at all to get. Yeah, you know, to I'd love cars, to see that. You but like, cars go up? these actually exist, for example, like, you can find similar things uh, pretty common in uh, Manhattan yeah. and also in Same. Japan. Same. Yeah. But the difference is, this is climate controlled and this is just, for the actual collector car, special car. Well, no, they're not in, indoors. Indo right. Indoors, so to do, to do fully indoors in California, which is earthquake and fire, and to have a basement underneath that uh, because of the weights and all that stuff is just an engineering, you know, it's crazy. It's an engineering masterpiece. So, so the floor we're standing on here uh, depending on where you're standing. Here, it's 18 inches thick, but in this line here, it's 30 inches of poured concrete. And then the foundation underneath, underground, is 36 inches. Walls are a foot thick. You know, I mean, the, am the, the amount of steel and concrete we've got here is wild. Not to mention, this entire white wall behind you that separates the lounge and the office and the podcast studio from the, the storage area, that's a two hour fire rated wall. So you'd have a fire raging in here for two hours and you could just be chilling if that was something you wanted to do. Even the, the ceiling above the detail bay is two hour fire rated. Like if your Supra caught on fire, you could be right up there. It's crazy thick. And, and, and these are just like, no one had ever done this before. So we had to fund the fire department creating our regulations. It's yeah. crazy. And, and that's not the only thing you had to fund. You had to, which by the way, I loved following your, uh, I guess trials and tribulations of building this thing on social media. I mean, the, the fact that you had to rebuild the sidewalk in front. Yeah, do you want to see the sidewalk? Yeah, well, and then also the back, right? I can show you our street, which yeah. we built. And I'll, you, here, come on, come on, I'll, I'll, I'll take you for a lap. I'll show you our street and our sidewalk. Sure. Which we had to build. So it, it, if you were to fill this up to the brim, how well, many cars? So if you fill up all the spaces, upstairs and downstairs, but you leave all the driveways, drive aisles empty, it's 110 cars. If you fill the drive aisles and leave just the most minimum of space, it becomes 130 cars. Operational, 100, 110. We've got 87 right now, which 16 weeks, not bad. That's yeah, pretty good. No, I'm, that's I'm, really good. I'm very, and we have like a cool variety of cars too. This is one of our motors. We have three 20 horsepower motors. One, 
two, and then the third one's over there. And then the hydraulics run through the floor uh, that power all of them. It's pretty crazy. You want to go see our sidewalk sure. in our yeah. street? This, this is kind of the thing, you know, when, when people think like, oh, you just built a building. It's actually not it's that. It's crazy. It's so they much. They make you do all this other stuff. So look at our beautiful road. We had to put in uh, 225 feet of road. <laughs> all the way? That's the fresh pavement over there. All or that's it. the fresh asphalt all, all the way. All of it. All and of this new swale, this concrete swale we had to put in for drainage as well. And then, oh my God, you want to see the nightmare? Here's, where, here's really where the nightmare happened. So we had to dig down a foot, right? And then we had a, an open trench for a couple of days, right? So during... During that time, the water main, which goes down this 45 degree alley, exploded and sent a river into this, like, a, a, like the Mississippi, just a rushing river. And they had to replace, you can see the fresh pavement just on, come here, just look, just on the left side. Oh yeah, this side, but yeah. Look, they did 400 feet, look how far down it goes. There were so, it broke four times in four weeks. And <laughs> records, be, wait, they started keeping records of when water mains were installed beginning in 1923. No record of that one. <laughs> now, so you had to pay for all of that? No, 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 no. The water company paid for that. You okay. can see where mine ended. Oh, got it. So got I, it. I had to go right to here though. Oh, you God. see where it said, and I had to do all of this. This but is actually, Matt's road right this here. This is my road. But it's really <laughs> nice, no, I mean, it sucked that I had to do it, but this, it was pretty terrible. Like, you can see how crappy it is over there. It's really bad. But my customers, you know, can come down this nice, beautiful way and, and down my beautiful ramp. And we'll talk about my ramp in a minute. But do you want to... Do you want to see my sidewalk? Yeah, let's see your we sidewalk. Have to go, we have to go around. <laughs> So now we're outside again, and we're checking out Thanks. Matt's sidewalk. So <laughs> part of this is want and part of this is need, okay? Want. I wanted no vehicle ever to have a problem approaching the building, front, rear, anything. The lowest, most annoying car you could think of. And we made this gorgeous driveway where you can see my neighbor here. My neighbor has like seven feet from street to top of sidewalk. We had a special thing made and we drew it all the way back to that white line. So my driveway is one third the steepness of the average driveway here. So it's like beautiful. You could do laid out caddy slammed on bags, just shh, right out. But in order to do that, they made me do some other things like rebuild 125 feet of sidewalk. And why do they make me do that? Well, because to cut you, the sidewalk was not to current code. You can't cut into the sidewalk and then repair it out of code, so they say. So I had to make it in front of my property up to code. Well, what about my neighbors, you say? How do you deal with that? I had to blend my code sidewalk with their out of code sidewalk right here. So look, see the four inches at the bottom of the yeah. wall? Oh yeah, yeah. See it disappear? <laughs> well, you made a little ramp here, so. Yeah, yeah. I had to, I had to. <laughs> so now I'm, now I'm in the out of code sidewalk. Isn't that dumb? <laughs> it's, it's just, I'm sorry to say, and I'm, I know you intended it to be comic relief yeah. on your, on your social channels. It's funny now. It, it's funny now, and I'm glad you talked about it because it's just like, just certain things that you have to deal with to, to get it working. To it get wasn't it right. funny when I was writing the check. That wasn't fun at all. I mean, some of the stuff you go, I just, you go, I can't believe that that's like real. But, uh, I mean, you know, now it's funny. Oh, hang on. I left my key inside. Oh, Something else that's very important, and I hope that Robert opens the wash bay, is that we wanted our two bay doors, which are also the detail bay, to be perfectly lined up. So if you had to, you could drive a truck and trailer right through and out back down the busted water main alley. 
You know what I mean? I see. So let's say if you need to unload a car to come in here, yeah. you can actually drive through here. And, and straight out the back. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice. That's a good idea. Cool. So it's crazy also that you have an integrated wash bay with a drain here. That's we got, like yeah, permits for that. Yeah, we have a we have an oil and water separator. We've got the whole water recycling system and like you kind of have to build the building from the ground up to be able to do that. Yeah, they won't let you just like wash indoors if you just buy a building and move into it. So that was important, obviously, to be able to do that on site and like shout out to ammo. My homie, the homie Larry Casilla, Ammo NYC, official detailing products. Shout out, Optima Batteries, the official tender. Got 150 of them. They rule the digital 400, so. So I'll show you how the lifts work because we store Jeff's car on the third level. This is a 1970 911T with 64,000 miles on it. Oh man. It's very nice. Thanks, Jeff. It just came back from service. Goes pretty quick. Whoa. It's not really affected by the number of cars. So that's all the way, and then you drop it on the locks. I just realized what happened. Huh. These were squished. Yeah, they're sandwiched. Oh, that's, that's so cool. I was wondering, like, where did they go? <laughs> you know? So, okay, so then if you have to move the very back car out and on the top. Yeah, you have to move the three cars under it and then the one in front of that because you just drive under this thing. Got it, got yeah. it, got it. But like very back, very top, like literally that car, that person is out of town for six months. That's not a, it's not a, pro like even like, like, like doesn't run, out of town for six months, doesn't run, doesn't run, been here for, a, since the day we opened, out of town for a year, out of town for six months, that's the top. So, you know, that doesn't happen. Yeah, but anyways, if they do need to pick it up, you have a pretty... Uh, it, takes, it takes 10 minutes to get a car off the very top, battery tenders and everything, 10 minutes. So if you think, if you're getting in your car from your house or getting in an Uber or whatever, walking, and you go, hey, WCCS, I'll be there in 10 minutes. When you get here, your car is right there. Right. Yeah, it's no big deal, it's cool. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. You want to see downstairs? Yeah, let's check it out. And then you can play with the man lift and go up and get the high view. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. Well, okay. First of all, what's your favorite car here yeah. in, in well, the collection? Cars. Your cars. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of my cars is here. Only my Porsche is here. Oh, my Ferraris at service in in the desert right now, and my Peters, uh, my Peterson, my Countach is in is in prison at the Peterson. <laughs> I donated it. I lent it to their supercars exhibit and then they couldn't open. Uh, but, uh, oh, that's too bad because then normal people can't actually go and no, check it out. No, there's some people made some videos and whatever, but like, so I, I hit them up actually and I was like, hey, uh, I'm gonna come get it. And they're like, and they're like, okay. And they, they're, I, I, I am gonna go get it. But I mean, we've got some really, you know, we've got good stuff. We've got 
you know, your typical Porsche. We've got an enormous percentage, over 40% of the cars here are Porsches. And I didn't choose that. That's just the, that's just the way it worked out. So uh, we've got all, you know, some great, great GT cars and we've got some cool Ferraris. It, it is kind of interesting to see the mix. Like you have like a Subaru or BIZ back there, right? Yeah, we've got one customer that really likes new uh, Japanese tuner cars. That's and then, cool. And then We're about that. It's parked in the same place as that uh, Lamborghini Urus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and there's a and then GT2 RS, and you've got old air-cooled stuff, and the vintage Lotus up here. There's, you know, there's a nice E30. I mean, there's a Harlequin Golf up there. Oh, you cool. It's on above the E30 uh -huh. on the uh, uh, Q14. Oh yeah, I see. I see uh, the nose uh, of it. C. Oh, yeah. that's super cool. Yeah. 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 There's. I mean, there's cool stuff. And there's some cool stuff downstairs that you'll like too. Yeah. <laughs> Something I really like down here. I love that. Are the halo lights. Oh yeah. Right? I that love that. Out. Yeah. yeah. So on that side are our tandem spaces where customers have an assigned space, nose to tail, two cars. Uh, and then we have a few single spaces down on this side for cars that are over 17 feet in length um, or in, in one way or another too big to go or too heavy to go on the lifts. So we've got some assigned singles down there, but um, Evo 2 Cosworth. Oh, beautiful. Uh, you know, there's a, a big, enormous power uh, Midnight Purple Supra back there, uh, 965 uh, Turbo. Obviously, an E46 M3, Porsche, Lotus, some BMWs, uh, M6, Alpina. There's a, a lovely classic Ferrari, but then also, like, I mean, look, you've got under that cover, like, lovely classic Ferrari, deep into the six figures, and then an 04 Cayenne. <laughs> and it costs the same amount to keep either here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's cool. But down here, you know, we had to build this basement, the requirements. So when you build edge to edge uh, in a property, commercial property in Los Angeles, you, have, you, you can't do that. You're not allowed because you don't have parking. You have to build parking. So we had to go underground. So. Uh, we legally have to be able to park at least 26 cars down here, but we can really hold 40. Um, and so we come down our ramp, which I'm very proud of, and the foundation, like I said, 36 inches of poured concrete. The walls are 14 inches of poured co of uh, shotcrete. They spray it. Um, and then our ramp, I'm very proud of because the lowest, gnarliest, most annoying car you could think of can make it down this ramp. We benchmarked the C7 uh, Z, uh, ZR1 Corvette uh, with two 200 pounders in it. So we got the specs and, and, and got the radiuses right. And so you can get really low cars. And we've also got an eight foot two clearance down here. So uh, it's funny because you go through all this length but then as soon as they make a right and try to go off the drive, go out of the, the, the end of the street, yeah. you're out. No, that's why you gotta go left. Yeah. I recommend everyone has to go left. Yeah, yeah you gotta go left. If you wanna, you wanna stay nice, you gotta go left. Yeah. I couldn't, I was, not, I, I was not gonna pave the whole street just to be a nice guy. I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. But you notice one of the ways that we make that ramp um, extra smooth is by not putting the drain at the bottom of it because that always creates the angle. So we, we, we smoothed that and then banked this a little bit, a few degrees, so the water just turns hard right at the bottom of the ramp. It runs like all within like a foot of this. And, and then, then goes, just got right it. here. Goes right in there. Dude, done. And uh, yeah, but I like these, the lights add a lot of flavor. I love it, I love it. You wanna go see the lounge? Yeah, let's check out the lounge and I'll, uh, my favorite thing is all the artwork and all the little quirky things like this. These are from our grand opening, the self-guided tour. I love that, it's just, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just the quirky things that I like. Do you like once the once in a lifetime music video by Talking Heads? And you may ask yourself, how do I work this? And you may ask yourself, where is that large automobile? Oh, and this, of course. How old were you here? We're going to, we're going to, uh, I was 17. 
So I was, this was, I was Smash Mouth here. I was Greenwich, Connecticut here. And what you couldn't see, I was corn and Rage Against the Machine on the bottom. I had the Doc Martens going on. Nice. I'm, I mean. <laughs> That's it right there. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, so now we're on the second floor of the office area. Yeah, yeah. So, which uh, this I'm so proud of. Like I'm so happy. It's a great shot. That that uh, some of my artwork made it in here. Like there's a lot of your artwork here. There's your artwork downstairs, and I think I have one of yours in my office as well. Yeah, but this is cool. We actually uh, there's a autofocus video. Actually, the very first autofocus video. Is, it was is, the very yeah, first one. It was it? the very first one. So we, we uh, launched a channel with this episode um, of uh, Matt driving his Countach at the Snake yeah, before, before they, closed they closed it. it. Yeah. And this is a fire burned um, area. In awesome. the back, you could see all of, like a lot of the, of Malibu was, it was burned. was crazy up there. Yeah. That was wild. But anyways, a lot there's of great content has come out of that day. There's normal road signs and stuff, but they all fell over <laughs> because because uh, they all got they burned. Got burned. But anyways, I'm so happy that it's this huge. six foot poster it's six made feet. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we had a we really wanted to have a bookshelf that I wanted a bookshelf that wrapped around two walls so badly. And then my friend Sarah, who her and my friend Webb did our interior decorating, they were like, "Well, what if it was like a canyon road, like a toge road?" And I was like, oh, definitely that so that's cool but I really like my favorite part about it is how the colors interlock uh, like fingers oh yeah I love it uh, th th this has a good story huh Bob Bondurant a legendary racing driver had never slid a front-wheel drive car on lunch trays before we didn't have the metal trays you're supposed to use the metal trays <laughs> so we had these like in I think I don't know if they're in and out or like RB whatever is, was local in Arizona we got those <laughs> And uh, he had a real good time, but he melted right through him in a second. <laughs> Pearl Jam by Tristan Eaton. Original Pearl Jam Family Park posters by my friend Tristan Eaton. I'm very happy to have those. Uh, this is the lounge. Oh, I love that there's a view of the storage area yeah. from here. So the, you see this, this orange sticker right here, which it's tough to read. It says, uh, uh, listed fire window frame, two hour rating. And then it's individually numbered. This and this. Put your camera right close to this. Listen to this. Oh, it's wow. like bank window glass. Yeah. yeah. Compared to outside window, which is regular. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So these, <laughs> these windows are just, they're ridiculous. But we want, we, you have to have this. Yeah. You have to have the. That's super cool. The view, the elevated view. And you can see our uh, evacuation system, 36,000 cubic feet per minute. Um, it's pretty heavy hitting system. So like what temperature do you keep this at during the summer? So you said climate controlled, which is not entirely accurate. We don't have air conditioning in there. Got it. So it's closed off, it's sealed off, right? And we have HEPA filters on the wall, which are blocked off by the Aston Martin right now. But there's, there's big HEPA filters there. And then this thing like rips air through here. So you're in a concrete box and the roof is white reflective um it it really stays between the coldest it gets is probably 55 in the winter and the hottest it gets is probably 76 or 77 in the summer so it's not it's it's like regulated but not like climate controlled like in here it's climate it's controlled. it's not um like storing a car in new york or anything no, you know where you know it'll a go car below is perfectly freezing. happy yeah, in here yeah. and what's yeah. more what's most important is it's very very it's not like completely surgical dust free but it's pretty pretty close to dust free lounge wine and whiskey lockers my friend misha gave me this beautiful guitar alex roy at noho sound sent the naim naim dope this is sound cool. bar. yeah, yeah really i like cool, that isn't it yeah, but so, this is awesome. You got a Bentley W12. Wow. Uh, engine block. <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, you know, security camera monitors. It's just all all the little touches, I guess, the things that you've kind of saved over it's however called, many years. Oh my God, we have so many new shelves. What's laying around the house? <laughs> okay. And collections from my old office and oh, stuff like that. We have to go into this bathroom. 
Okay. Oh, the mid, because, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love this the story. The mystery dolly. Yeah. So the mystery dolly is, um, <laughs> is a real dolly, Salvador dolly, and I made this plaque. This thing um, arrived at my house. Like, I didn't order it. And we got, we got married, uh, my wife and I got married last year, or 2019, and, um, you know, gifts were showing up because now when you, when you get gifts for a wedding, it's all done by mail. No one brings anything to the wedding anymore, right? So boxes are showing up and, and this showed up and this is a, a, an, uh, an etching um, and it's authenticated. The whole, the thing is on the back. It's like real, it's from a gallery, uh, but I have no idea where it came from. Uh, no one... Oh, my, Hannah, my wife, is very organized. All the gifts were accounted for for the people who came to the wedding. Uh, no one has taken credit for it. I called the gallery, left two voicemails. They didn't call me back. Um, if you sent me this, please let me know. It's, but nice. it's a real... Yes. I... And I poop under it sometimes. And that's, that's my favorite part is the, the little thing that you wrote. Oh, and the last line on the plaque says, anyway, if you pee on the seat, please wipe it. <laughs> Because I put it in the bathroom and then made the plaque. But, but that's the, that's the, the flex, <laughs> you know? You have a real dolly and you put it in the bathroom. <laughs> well, that's the way to do it, right? Exactly. That's the way to do it. I, I mean, wasn't, I'm not trying to shit on dolly. I like dolly. I mean, I think someone sent it to me because they knew I liked dolly. They just didn't tell me they were sending it. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Here's my Lamborghini with Cindy Crawford. Your actual car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not standing on the wing. She's standing on a ladder behind the wing. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll show you the studio. Yeah. This is, uh, it's fun because as soon as I walk in here, it just like quiets down. Yeah, right? Yeah. You want to close the door if you really, really want to make it quiet. So the studio was built as a studio. Um, it was, uh, you know, because we built the building from the ground up, I knew this was going to be the studio. We've got soundcrete in the floors. We've got extra... Um, air gaps in all the walls. We've got special acoustic tiles, special acoustic door. Uh, like my office is right there and the door looks the same, but it's a completely different door. And the tiles look the same, but they're completely different tiles. Um, and then my brother-in-law, uh, John, has a company in San Diego called Kirai and they make all this custom uh, acoustic foam out of recycled uh, water bottles. Oh, so, wow. So That's yeah, great. so they make the tiles, like those are all tiles. And then they will send, they'll do, you know, if you send them vector art, you know, they'll make these sort of 3D layered cutouts. So I was like, I want to do like a 996 gauge cluster, but with our, sh and, and it came out like way better than I thought it was going to. Um, and then I sent them not even vector. I just sent them a photo of a gated Ferrari shifter from like an old magazine or something. And they sent me that. And, uh, they actually made like a, a shifter that sort of 3D came out of it, but it looked a little wonky, so we didn't. We ended up not using it. But um, yeah, it, the, the, but the sound in here is like fabulous. it's amazing. Like when you walk from there to there, it it's just yeah, it, it, yeah. it changes well, so we, much. We had a we had a we had um, Jay Ryan who helped us with the sound and everything. You know, we sat where we sit. And, and, and bounce the sound around the room. And um, you want me to turn, you want to see the lights? Sure. The lights are. Also, I love the fact that you look out here and then you can see the collection, including Grimace, your uh, 911 down here. So this is, this is how it, you know, looks when you're recording, which is, which is really nice when you get, if you've got a guest here, they're in, they're in a nice light. Yeah, yeah. the hot seat. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. I love it. Uh, and you can have a bunch of guests too at the same you time. You could, yeah. yeah. We'd, have to, we'd have to run some auxiliary. We have what we call party mics, which are just like extra handheld guys. But our whole studio now is run on iPhones and iPads. So we have a thing called SwitcherCast. So it's all like these cords are just power. Like it, the whole thing is wireless. And what, because I built the building, I built a symmetrical fiber optic line so I can, I can stream 4K here like all day, um, which is great. So we can do our, we can do our show. Awesome. Yeah. Last thing, can we check out your office? Yeah. There's some artwork in there that I absolutely love. Like for example, the planter, the famous planter. So <laughs> <laughs> I stole that from VF Engineering. Uh, the, uh, the manifold, it's a Huracan manifold, you know, because they put the superchargers on. 
and uh, <laughs> I was looking at that thing. I was sitting at staring at that manifold for like six months, wondering what to do with it, and then, and then it hit me. <laughs> it worked. I think it really worked. I, I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's great. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've got there's there's all kinds of fun stuff. Oh Jesus, I uh, I was a fine arts major in college, and so I joke and I'm half serious. Um, that one of the only things I'm actually trained to do is hang a gallery. And so I didn't, I didn't really measure any of this. I just kind of eyeballed it, but I think it, I think it came out pretty good. Although now I look, now that I, you're pointing a camera at me, fucking Larry, Sorry. everything <laughs> is, everything is fucking fucked a little bit here. Now that I notice you're pointing a camera at things. Okay, I think we're okay now. A couple of things I want to point out. Um, your cover with your, uh, uh thanks IRS, uh, Fox body. It was super, good. Su super cool it car. It was good, but it's no Larry Chen shot, well, but it's, it's pretty good. It, it, the thing is, it's the last time... When I shot your uh, Fox Buddy, it was the last time I did a full set on film. And... That was the last time? That was the last time. Oh, really? I, I mean, go just, do some film. Yeah, it's just, you know, of the occasion, I guess. You know, yeah. you, you have to just figure out something special to, yeah. to shoot. And... I figured it's like old car, old camera kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah it, it looks a great. fun thing. I still use um, those shots for stuff. With that said, uh, yeah, I definitely want to shoot film more. But also, this is a very um, iconic and historic shot. Like this is the bedroom poster. It is. Wall That's Jeff shot. Swart from 1987. And according to Jeff, and I have no way of verifying or arguing, that was like the best-selling poster at Sam Ash in 1987. And Jeff gave me an original, which is nice. Oh, he had, wow. He had one left. Yeah, Yeah, he had, he had it left. So it's not my car. But you know what this is from? This is from the road and track shootout where the yellow bird beat everybody. That was what this photo set was actually from. Jeff was double dipping. He probably charged Road and Track a fortune for that. And then I just got, I just got the new issue of Haggerty. Look at wow. this. I just got this. I'm sorry about my back. I'm like an old man. I just got this, and I was flipping through this joint, and I found something. <laughs> found something awful familiar. What the? <laughs> this is the This one's an original. This image was included with when you bought a Countach. No way. Yeah, that one came with my car. That's the that's actually the original. Oh, that's so cool. And this, so was, cool. this one was just reprinted in, in Haggerty this month. That's awesome. Yeah, so I, what else do we have that's fun? Uh, my friend Chef Carl Ruiz, rest in peace, looking down on me. My wife and I were in the knot when we got married. The, your plate. The plate from yeah. uh, from the uh, the Mustang. This is Al Capone's jail cell from Eastern State Penitentiary. This is from my senior thesis. Oh, in wow. college. I shot you that shot on, this? I shot that on a 4x5. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so uh, a lot of people don't know you actually are a I'm shooter a yourself. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you, I'm you a shoot. photographer. So, so I shot that. I mean, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else in the office that's like artsy that I shot. Uh, My house has did, a lot did of Did you shoot stuff. something out down in the lobby area? No, I don't think there's anything of mine here. Im sorry. No, it's okay. Um, but uh, my house has a lot. Oh, this is cool. This is my wife. Yeah. What a cool feature. That was a here. good one. Yeah. You'd think it would drive business, but no, it did not. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're just uh, vlogging here. Vlogging. Vlogging. Oh, you're doing a thing? But I came early. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. Yeah. Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. So Zach. Oh, where, where do we want to finish? In the lobby? Painted our logo on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's I cool. bought this motorcycle to park here. I was thinking, what would be the best? Check out that Geo Metro convertible over there. This is a great block to spot people. Yo, people like mob down here in Aventadors. It's like every day is Hellcat day at this traffic light. Um, but I, I bought this motorcycle. It's a Honda a CX500 Turbo, 1983. This is the first ever uh, production turbocharged motorcycle. And uh, it's real cool. Um, I bought it because I was like, what motorcycle would I want to look at every single day and basically never ride? I love that. It says it's, turbo so many places. It says on turbo it. like nine places on it. Yeah. Um, it actually runs pretty decent. Um, it's, it's not a, it's, it's not like a crappy bike. It's a little scruffy, but it's definitely nice. And for what I paid for it, it's a score, but I like looking at it every day. That's really why it's here. 
That's like, I, I thought this area here would be a great place to put a motorcycle, yeah. and I'm glad we got to. Oh, I like that. I'm going to get a Grom and put it here also. <laughs> Just right next to it. Dude, have you ridden Groms? Yeah, they're, the best. they're fun. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much Thanks for, for having us. Is there anything uh, else I think, you want to see? I think the next thing I'll probably shoot is probably your Ferrari, right? Cause, yes. Yeah, because you've never had a Ferrari before. Is that My your first? First. It's triple black. Tough yeah. to shoot. Yeah, uh, that'll be Challenge even more fun. for Larry. Yeah. We'll shoot we should that. go to the desert. Or we could shoot it at night. Or we could shoot it in the sand Black dunes. Black car at night? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> challenge. I want a challenge. You want to go play on the lift? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's go into the lift. Yeah, let's go to the lift. Okay. All right. This thing rules. This is cool. My, uh, my plumber owns this, but doesn't have room to store it at his place, so I get it for free. Now, where would you like to get high? <laughs> Whoa. You want like a central position? Sure. This is a good, oh wow. You have a real GNX? Yes, we do. It has 11,000 original miles on it. Oh my God. We'll go in, we'll go here. Like out, out of a lot of the cars, I would probably take that. And that's a ZR1 underneath it. Do you want to go a little, come a little closer. Okay, Opsy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a great toy. Getting high. I love this thing. Wow, you really kind of get a scale for it. Yeah, when you get when you, you have look to be at up this way to really kind of understand how how high the cars go. That's incredible. That's why we call it the cathedral room, because of how that light comes through like that. Yeah, no, it looks great. So now we're standing on the height of the top cars. Ah, you can't even see these cars. <laughs> yeah. You know? They're hidden. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, there is a platform for you to walk. Why would you? These, do you want to hear a story? Ugh, it's the worst. So the fire department said that I had to build those catwalks and I had to build them uh, for, for them, really. You see, notice how there's no ladders, right? Because I'm not allowed to be on them. They're for the fire department, and I had to build them there. I had to build them in between those two rows there, and I had to build them in between those two rows. Now, originally, you see how that side is five, five by two, right? This side was supposed to mirror that. But because they wanted me to put a catwalk in between, that narrowed the drive aisle enough to where it was no longer code. So we had to turn these facing this way to get the catwalks to fit, but I lost four quads because of it. So this building was meant to hold 22 quads, but the fire department knocked me back to 18. Then during final inspection, the fire inspector told me that none of his men will ever go on any of these. Oh no. It was awesome. I was really happy to hear that. Oh no. <laughs> Well, so that's building, but uh, yeah. I mean, I guess many years down the line, you could probably turn it, huh? I mean, I, no, because they're built. They go. Oh. They go through the foundation. Yeah. All right, never mind. So, but uh, yeah, cool GNX ZR1 <laughs> guy who likes minis, classic 65. Anyways, <laughs> anyway, there's cars up here. Yeah. So, um, all right, that's good to know. Yeah. And then you can see how the tenders are plugged in. So you just plug the trays, the, the tray into the, uh, or the tender into the tray. Hmm. Yep. That's cool. Very exciting. Yeah. Yes. I was thinking, of, I was wondering like how it keeps, how is it that it stays plugged in as you lift them? It's because. It's on a, it's on a uh, little thing. A little roller. Constant thing. tension. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. It's awesome. All man. right. Let's go and down. the guys, when you look at when you look around, and you look at all the conduit, like the electrical and all those the, that stuff. And like, it just is all it's all very very tidy. All right, down ski. Yeah. In a way, it 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 is also still cool that you have a lot more floor space in here. Yeah, I would have liked four more lifts. <laughs> I mean, yes, this luxurious floor space is very nice. <laughs> But I only need the floor space because the lifts are facing this way. I wouldn't need the floor space if the lifts were facing out. Bend your knees. 